Now, to start a debate for her, we're going to ask Dr. Arthur Sharabot to approach the podium and make a speech. Hear him. Thank you very much. I should perhaps first say that I'm not here as a Muslim apologetic in order to defend or promote Islam. I'm here as an academic uh, who spent a significant amount of his professional career studying and researching Islam. And I suppose as a proper academic, I will perhaps dissect, deconstruct the motion slightly, problematize it. Um, some might say um, that the motion is in itself problematic. Some might even say it's nonsensical. And not necessarily because the, the actual conclusion, the actual decision is obvious, as the other side might argue. But I would say Islam, as any religion, cannot be peaceful or violent because Islam is not an actor. Islam as such, as an abstract reality, somewhere up in the sky, does not exist. It is Muslims who make Islam, live Islam, practice Islam, understand Islam in various ways. Muslims, as human beings, are actors, and it is Muslims who are either violent or peaceful, or who understand their religion to be one of peace or not. And the same is true for other religions. Christianity is not Christianity, that is either peaceful or not, or Hinduism or Buddhism for the matter, but it's Christians, Hindus or Buddhists, who are either peaceful or violent. And if it is true that Muslims as human actors make Islam, determine what Islam is, interpret Islam as they see fit, we have to say that the overwhelming majority of Muslims are peaceful. They're peaceful people who want to live decent, ordinary lives, raise their families, pay their mortgage back, try to make contributions to wider society and coexist with other members of the societies in which they live, whether they're in the majority or in a minority. It is only a fringe group within contemporary Islam that makes the headlines nowadays that are violent and use Islam as a source to justify violence. And obviously we have this debate about you know, whether Islam is peaceful or not, when it comes to other religions, such as Christianity, I mean, do we deny that the majority of Christians are peaceful and that indeed Christianity is a peaceful religion when we see the 